This is it. We're good. It's go time. This is go time. <laughs> I gotta wear a home kit. So. You know where your home kit? Yeah. What, there we uh, go. What? That should be good. Uh, yeah, I gotta make sure I have uh, Alfonso on the bench. <laughs> get Fonzie in this game. Get him in. What's he like? You must have uh, played with him, got some good stories with Fonzie. Yeah, he's he's funny, man. He's probably one of the funniest guys I've ever met. He's a good time. He's, uh, yeah, he's a good character. You know, he's always always joking around, always dancing. You keep in touch with him? Uh I, my sister. My sister talks to him more than more than I chat with him. But uh, here and there on Snapchat, his yeah. Snapchat hilarious. Really good kid, though. I hope he watches this because he never could beat me in FIFA. Really? You guys have some good games? Yeah, I used to come over to my house and play. Could yeah. never beat me. <laughs> What's uh, <laughs> What would you do to him? Oh, I'd beat him 3 0, 4 0. <laughs> who's the, who's the best of the guys that you play against uh, on Valor or on Canadian Valor? players? Yeah. Uh, probably, probably Dylan Carrero. Pretty See? good. That's my shout out to Dylan. I know you're watching this. So Dylan Carrero's got the belt. Yeah, he's pretty good. I would, I would, he hasn't played me yet in FIFA 20, so right now I would say I'm the best. Who's um? Uh, do you guys have tournaments? Uh, we haven't yet. I wanted to last night actually, but they they were kind of scared. Who plays on the on the team? <laughs> They're scared. <laughs> uh, Glenn Glenn thinks he's pretty good. Yeah. Raf Garcia thinks he's pretty good. But there's a difference between thinking and acting, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This is Overlap. It. Here it is. Ooh. Oh, no nonsense. No nonsense clearance. We just try to keep this clean. No, Not overcommit. Whatever. whatever it takes to win. That's how you play this? Yeah. That's the only way to play it. Oh, we got a bit of room here. We got a bit of room. There's nothing going on here. <laughs> How about that vault? Oh. Look at this. Here's the Valor counterattack. All right. Marco to Tyler Retardo. There you go. <laughs> to Tyler Retardo, he says. <laughs> That was quick. There we go. Quick, that's all about right, We're all right. So when did you um, realize that you wanted to play in the CPL? Yeah, you know, when I was uh, I was down in, in the USL with Oklahoma City. Yeah. And uh, I had watched the first three games in the league. And then, uh, or the first three games of Valor. And then I had watched a few of the, the other teams play. And right away it caught my eye, you know, it was uh, it was something that I felt like I wanted to be part of. Yeah. And it seemed like, you know, the broadcasting, you guys done a real good job of of making making it seem really really interesting. And uh, you know, I just wanted to I wanted to be part of it. And what are you what are you thinking? <clears throat> How do you feel about the the level of the league? I feel like it's met it's met uh, it's met higher than the expectation of what people people thought it was going to be you know no one really knew what was what was going to come out of it because mm -hmm. it's literally brand new but uh, yeah you know it's, it's reached beyond expectations beyond what we thought it was going to be and i just feel like yeah. i feel like it's just keep getting better and better every year you know what i mean as it should. Yeah. And the more the better players we generate here, and the better the league's gonna be. How's um, how's your dog doing? Ah, uh, she's chasing her <laughs> ball and barking. And that's a little game that she has. Is that uh, she has the ball right in front of her and she barks at it. Don't ask me. <laughs> I thought she was cheering you on. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no way, man. No way.
Dude, you weren't this good last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're gonna come on the counter. There it is. So is that where you got the idea for, for Valor to come on the counter? Playing FIFA? Actually, uh, it was funny because because uh, actually one training session when we were kind of in a bit of a in a bit of a slump, I'd say. Yeah. You know, we kind of joked around me and uh, Michael Petrasso. You know, what do what do we have to do to get out of this and and find the best way to play? And we're just like, you know what? Let's just sit sit back. And uh, in a low block, and then you know what? When we win the ball, let's have our outlets, our outlets wide. Me and you, and let's just counter, counter everybody. You guys have had some success with that, especially against York. Yeah. And after the first game, we had, we had tried to do it. You know, it was, uh, it actually worked. And oh wow, it's good save. And it was like, it was funny. We had, we had kind of laughed about it after the game. You know, wow, it actually worked. And then we kind of stuck to it ever since, and I feel like we've taken we've taken a turn as a team, especially going forward and scoring goals. Because you know what people talked about earlier was that we didn't score, we didn't generate enough scoring chances. Yeah. So is that what's the identity of this team now? What kind of what's the best? I, w I would say team? we're up the you know the best counterattacking teams in the league. Mm -hmm. I think we're an exciting team to watch, you know, as fans. And, uh... What's that fan base like? You guys get some, some people out, I know. Um, we, get a, we get a good, steady crowd. Good you, know, I, you know, they're nice and loud. The, the Red River Rising group, you know, they've done a good job for the first year, the supporters. Yeah. And it's just, like I said, you know, it's gonna, everything will get better in this league as time goes on. That guy just punched me in the face. Oh, here, here it is. One of your players just punched me in the face. Here's Messi, man. Oh. That's, yeah, that was impressive. Hey, I said anything to do to win. <laughs> but no, it's been it's been overall a really cool experience playing in this CPL, especially for the first for the first time and being part of history. Yeah. So your dad goes to one of those games, and what does he say on the phone to you when you're thinking about playing there? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I spoke to him. He went to the first game, the first game of uh, of Valor's history at home against Edmonton. Yeah. He actually didn't tell me he was going to the game. Okay. So I found out that he got tickets to go to the game, and and he was he said he was really impressed with the. Oh. Uh, Wow, Oof, those that was all right. <laughs> um, no, he said he was really, really impressed with, with the level of the game, level of the players, and that kind of made me feel a bit more comfortable with making a decision to come here. Because honestly, I like anyone else, I didn't really know what to expect. And you know, the the most important thing was that I was coming here and I was gonna, I was gonna work my tail off and play the most minutes that I could because at my age that's the most important thing right now is to play games and good competitive games and that's what the games have been in the CPL in my opinion it's it's been the best thing for me yeah the best to ask for for myself all right you only have two nil it's the most the scariest nil. lead in, in sports <laughs> so I got this I would say I'm probably the best CPL CPL FIFA 20 player really that's bold I, I am the the CPL MVP of FIFA. My God, self-proclaimed. We have to set up a <laughs> tournament. We should. <laughs> so what? What are like you guys on the panel? What have you guys thought about the league and the players and and all sorts of stuff like that? Yeah, it's been fun, uh, especially you guys, because uh, you score goals and you concede, so that's always entertaining. <laughs> always fun to watch isn't that's it? right no but i thought valor's really come on especially recently um and yeah i still think they're uh, one of the better teams in this league they're great to watch going forward and uh, they're pretty good at fifa from what i hear <laughs> i gotta find out how to get a goal i'm not letting you get me off my game now you're not gonna score man <sighs> <laughs> 
like, oof. Here it is, the Valor counterattack. Oh, you read that, man. Did I what? You read that. <laughs> But it's okay, second chance is here. No, you're pretty good, you're pretty good. <laughs> you're not bad yourself. So I got I got a question. Yeah, go ahead. Who's who's uh who's out of all the guys on the panel there, yeah. who's 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 um each of you guys' is favorite player in the league. Favorite player in the league? Yeah. Oh, I have to ask the panel. Um, let's see, for myself, just favorite, just like not who I think is yeah. the best, but personally yeah, that you watch? Yeah, you just well, really for, watch it. For me, it's, it's probably Verhoeven, yourself. Who's still some Verhoeven? <laughs> And are you saying that just because I'm on here? I don't know. Lifelong, lifelong Bustos fan, but I was living in <laughs> Winnipeg when you signed with the Whitecaps. And uh, yeah, I thought it was cool when you, when you signed with the Whitecaps. And it was exciting for me when you signed with Valor as well. And then you're fun to watch too, so that helps. <laughs> and then you cheat at FIFA. <laughs> um, here we go, pretty I know, quick. I know for our producer, he's been a big Nico Pasquale fan since day one. There what? 3-0. That's a skunk. How do you... S <laughs> ah, you cheat. We gotta go the even teams. Nico. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get Alfonso Davies in this. You need to. I need to add some pace. I'll give you one thing about that guy is he's the fastest, fastest guy I've ever played with. Yeah, he can burn. Amazing, that guy's speed. I told you, you're not going to score on me, man. Okay. We got to get a rematch in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I might have to. I might end up throwing my controller at the screen here. And Kurt Larson's player. Kurt Larson's favorite player in the league. Yeah, is it still uh, Connor James? <laughs> Connor James, that's a good shout. No, I think it's uh, Dominic Sator. That's a good call. I played with him in uh, Whitecaps in the when they were in the when the Whitecaps had the USL team. We would go down and play. And I've played uh, a lot with him, actually. With, um, with, with Zator? Yeah. People are also... One of the nicest guys I've ever met. Yeah, he's a decent player. Who's Amazing. impressed you in the league? Impressed me in the league? Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see. There's a few. I think... Because uh, I'd never seen... I'd never seen uh, Tristan Borges play before. Yeah. And uh, I feel like I feel like he's done himself really well. I feel like me and him are sort of similar. Yeah. Similar style of players, and that's the kind of that's the kind of players I like to that I like to watch at least is you know guys that guys that are creative. I'm just looking at hack Messi right now. Yeah, I know. There's been a lot of uh, fun, creative, exciting young players. I think that's been no, really good for the league. Yeah, the league gives the opportunity for us to express ourselves. If, uh, you know, when, when not having the opportunity prior or as many opportunities before, no, yeah. it gives us... Yeah, so you go, to the, you go to the Whitecaps as a teenager. Do you think that you would have played with Valor if this opportunity was available for you? Um, I don't know. That's a that's a hard question. You know, it's 
it's a unrealistic question, kind of, because, mm -hmm. you know, Brown. But uh, I don't know, you know, going to Vancouver was probably one of the best decisions that I could have made as well as a, as a, as a young pro. Yeah. Or trying to become a pro. I struggled. I struggled quite a bit in the beginning in Vancouver. It was uh, it was tough for me to leave home, and you know I missed my family, and my friends a lot. The first six months was really hard, yeah. and I actually I actually almost almost went home because it was that tough for me. And uh, I got through it, uh, and then I started playing better. Yeah, the, the coaches the coaches that started giving me a bit more praise and I was always one of those players that needed a bit of you know a coach's a coach's praise mm -hmm. just for just to make me feel and you know I was always, yeah you know like uh, I'm a really I'm a believer in coaches that are like uh, player coaches if you know what I mean sure well you got one of those with Gail right what's what's yeah. he been like yeah, he's always been a, a believer in me. You know, I, I have to really thank him for what he's done for me as well. You know, he's uh, got me involved in the national team. Um, obviously brought me here to Valor with high expectations. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if we've exceeded all the expectations that, that he had told me, you know, where he said I was going to be a big part of the team. Felt like I was and He's always got me playing a free role that that gets the best out of me. And I feel like he knows how to get the best out of me in games and training sessions. Well, you got the best of me in this one. Just this one time, though. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good game. The next, the next, the next one won't be recorded because then it'll be another another four or five nil. Then we we this have to have me. you back on for a rematch. <laughs> this is my third time playing this game. <laughs> Yeah, my fourth. <laughs> That's all, right. all right, thanks, buddy. Have a good one. No, no worries. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Talk to you later, man. Talk to you later.